America has made a commitment to care for the men and women who fight for our freedom overseas. And we should be very, very committed to making sure that those people who have done their part to defend our freedom get every single benefit that they've been promised. of our organization, we've been around since 1990, was a veteran of World War II, Korea, and Vietnam, the United States Navy. Um, went from an enlisted to officer, and six months short of his retirement, he was dishonorably discharged from the United States Navy for being dead. It took him 20 years into the 80s that he finally got his discharge upgrade. So he did, he has access now to the VA, which he desperately needs. He's in his 80s now. But no retirement. None of that retirement. He would have been set for life, and, and he didn't get it. Probably the biggest problem that LGBT veterans and service members are facing right now are benefits from the military. Um, benefits uh, make up a huge part of the overall compensation of, um, of military service uh, and uh, LGB military families do not have access to the same benefits that other military families have access to. I was invited to the White House to watch President Obama sign into law the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Uh, there was uh, one woman there, um, it came her time to speak up. She was a chief warrant officer in her blue uniform. Uh, she could barely speak. And she apologized to us and said, um, she is actually in the, the final stages of breast cancer and she knows that her life will end soon. She was there with her wife, her married spouse. And she said, when I die, my spouse will get no benefits from the military. Nor will her children get the benefits. In fact, she will not even be presented the flag at the funeral. Before Don't Ask, Don't Tell, there was another policy. There was another one during the Korean era. There was another one during World War II. And the policy actually goes back to World to 1919, World War I. So almost 100 years of discrimination. Um. When I asked Danny, have we done the research among and within this constituency to determine the depth of the problem, the volume, some of the emerging issues? He said, we don't have the money for research. No. We, haven't, we haven't had the money for visibility, awareness, research. So now, Danny, if, if we can um, introduce Ronnie Den, because Ronnie is going to help us drive this program for awareness. It transcends LGBT because it goes into other groups. Um, because Just Be Fair is an American DNA. It's part of the American DNA. Ronnie was the mover and shaker behind the Red Dress campaign that brought this to America's attention. Well, when we did Red Dress, 
at Fashion Week. It just exploded the issue. Fashion Week has, is, is the repository of 3,500 media outlets uh, descend on New York at Fashion Week at Lincoln Center, used to be Bryant Park, and cover it wall to wall. He said, I'd like you to talk to our group, Veterans Across America, about another project we'd like you to think about, and that is the whole issue of the upgrade and LGBT and so forth, and how do we bring this to the attention of the American public? And the biggest thing I can tell you is there is no more attention-getting place than Fashion Week. <laughs> we're going to create PSA, we're going to create rolling celebrities, we're going to create um, a, a, a platform that enables us to speak to issues. So raising money, while it's the hardest thing in the world these days, trust me, we do it for fatigue and it's incredibly difficult. This project might not be as difficult as others. Well, the, the Just Be Fair campaign um, really uh, puts uh, the words where they belong. Uh, Americans value fairness. And when they hear about someone who is being treated differently, um, that is rightly offensive to Americans. And in, in uh, joining with uh, veterans across America, we hope that we can bring some necessary funding to help enlighten Americans about these issues and, and help uh, young people um, get the opportunities that they need to find healing for the wounds they've uh, suffered while serving our country and uh, to help them lead better lives.